Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing an inside of their mind reading for the month of September. Now in this message, we're going to tap into your energy, your person's energy, and we're going to see what's challenging the two of you. Then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into your person's mind. And in this portion of the message, we're going to look at their perception of you, their perception of the challenge. We'll look at anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of and what their true intentions are moving forward. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, please keep in mind the messages here on YouTube are general, meaning they're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive right into Leo's energy for this upcoming month. Let's see what comes out for you for the month of September. What is inside of your person's mind? Most important message here for Leo Spirit. What do my Leo friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. coins, seven of swords, knight of staff. Somebody has their wall up and it's because they're being deceptive. They're not being 100% honest about how they feel, about the position that they're giving you in their life, about money. We'll see how this plays out into the message here, Leo, but there's definitely a need to pay attention. The energy surrounding you is the King of Swords, the Four of Staffs, and the Three of Cups. The energy surrounding your person is the King of Cups, the Two of Cups, Ace of Swords. The challenge here, Leo, Queen of Cups, the Hanged Man, the Four, the Four of Pentacles. All right. So Leo, the message that's coming out for you is an energy of you seeing a future with a particular person wanting to build a future, um, seeing potential in the relationship. And we're going to clarify all of this as we go through but I do feel like your person isn't being 100% completely honest about being involved with another person. Now, this is only going to resonate for a few of you, and you are already going to have confirmation that this is going on. So if you don't know if your person is cheating or your person has another person that they go back and forth between you and them, then this is not a reading for you. Shut it off, okay? But if that is a message that's resonating, this is definitely a message for you. So let's clarify the King of Swords, the Four of Staffs, the Three of Cups. Whether this is something that's going to happen right now, or this is something that's about to transpire, I feel like this is about to come to an end. You are about to put the final nail in the coffin of this indecisive energy, is what I see. And the reason why is because your person is still entertaining a person from their past, most likely a person they have children with. Let's clarify. The 
the Two of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Queen of Wands. It's just like a lot of, a lot of people are involved in how they resolve conflict. And again, there's one person in particular that this person is not letting go of. Right now, Leo. I feel like you're kind of just patiently waiting for this person to make a decision. There's going to, something's going to transpire where you have had enough. You're not, not going to be waiting any longer. Let's clarify the king, the queen of cups, hanged man with the four of coins. This person isn't willing to sacrifice. They're not willing to walk away from that other connection in order to make this work. And part of it is that other person is probably okay with whatever they give them. They're okay with whatever energy. They'll take whatever they can get, basically. I definitely feel like there is a need to protect your own energy. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into this person's mind. But just pay attention here, Leo, and proceed with caution. Okay. So, see what this, per this person's perception of you is in this energy. Now, if you find the messages helpful, if it's resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Leo's person's perception of Leo. I feel like this person views you as willing to wait. Like you'll deal with the unknown. This has been going on for some time. For most of you that this is resonating for, this is a long time coming. So they feel like Leo will be there. Leo may see, say that they're going to walk away, but they don't. What's this person's perception of the challenge here? The Wheel of Fortune tells me here, Leo, that this person views this as like a fated connection or like destiny is involved here when it comes to you and them. Okay. But there is a family that they're not willing to leave behind. And maybe this is, it's no fault of your own. Maybe they've told you that they've already walked away. But they're still trying to make it work for whatever reason. For whatever excuse, you don't want to get caught up in the nonsense. So just proceed with caution here. Anything that's hidden that this person isn't telling Leo Spirit, please and thank you. Devil, the Emperor. One more card, please. The Fool, Eight of Swords. So this person is, is fighting some sort of addiction. It may even be like a behavior pattern that they are unaware of. It's an unconscious behavior pattern or they're not willing to change. When you and this person have a disagreement, they go off to the other person and wait for you to come back around. This is an, a cycle that has been on repeat for some time. And the only way that the cycle is going to come to an end, the only way that this chapter is going to close, Leo, is if you do so, if you make it. This is something that you overthink, overanalyze, you worry about the outcome, um, but ultimately what's done is done. And I don't feel like there's really any going back from that. So let's, look at this person's true intentions here moving forward in this energy. This person 
is very confident that you will be back. Do you feel like they perceive this as becoming too much? This five of swords, the tit for tat, the back and forth, it's becoming too much. What I will say is what's coming out in their energy is as soon as they have had enough, they're going to walk away. They're not going to stick around to find out and see if you're going to do the right thing. They are just going to end it. For a lot of you, this person is the one that's going to walk away completely. Right now, I feel like this person is really up in their head as well about what to do. There is an energy of not knowing. And it's because there is love between the two of you. But I feel like it's like unrequited love. It's not something that's sustainable. So let's pull over some advice, guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. High Priestess, Six of Swords, Temperance, and the Magician. Okay. Trust your intuition, Leo, most importantly, first and foremost. There's something here in regards to your intuition that you're not paying attention to. Instead of having patience with this person, have patience with yourself through your healing process, okay? Don't give in when this person tries to come back around because they are coming back in the same energy. So what that simply means is you are going to get more of the same thing. However, it's been in the past, it's going to be like that in the future. Something here that this person has is needing to sacrifice, but they're not willing to do so. Have it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to receive the highest energy of all. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Make an effort. Create love. Or great love is worth taking a step you're guided to take. And pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yo. Cool. I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I hope the message was helpful for you, Leo, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey, friends. So I just wanted to come on and, again, thank you for all the love and the support on all of the platforms that I post all of this information on. I started a Patreon and OnlyFans. For those of you that want to support the channel, to help to spread the information, um, to help my travels when I'm going to different events, to connect a little bit deeper on a more personal level with you guys. And so instead of just asking for donations, I thought I would put together a Patreon and an OnlyFans. And on those platforms, I'm posting sound baths and guided meditations. And every once in a while, I'm posting stuff about yoga, yoga positions, and I'm going to also record some yoga videos for you guys to be able to tap into. So if that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Again, it's Patreon and OnlyFans. Both of those platforms have a lot of similar content, but they're also going to have some different content as well. Follow whichever 
platform feels in alignment with what you need for your healing journey. And don't be afraid to disconnect, guys. The purpose of this channel is for you to get the tools and the information that you need to heal and to move forward in a more positive direction. The channel isn't meant for you to be here forever because I feel like once you heal, you hopefully can tap into the healing modalities when you need um, and messages when you need, um, but, but not to be here for forever. So again, thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. And I look forward to connecting with your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.